Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we actually asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted a story time on our marriage proposal or a story time on a home invasion. And you guys actually chose the marriage proposal story. So we are here today. We are going to eat some Buffalo Wild Wings and just tell you the story on how Ruben proposed. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings for uh, sponsoring us today. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so I proposed to Karen. It was on August 8th. Um, it's something I've been planning for a while, uh, maybe like a year and a half or so, I was planning it. Um, and <clears throat> well, during the time I was doing it, it was just like bad timing. For I feel like everything that I was trying to plan for her was going wrong. Um, just because my idea was to propose to her on a, on a hot air balloon. And I feel like during the time, uh, there was a lot of bad weather and and the, the company I was I wanted to go to, they, they were actually turning me down. It was like, no, right now is not the time. The weather's bad. So I I basically had to uh, hang in there and uh, just keep giving them. They kept giving me updates, and I kept giving I kept calling them to see like when the perfect time was. So I felt like um I felt like the guy he he was honest with me. He's like. So I don't know if you know how this works, but the hot air balloon has literally no controls. Like they, the only control he has is to go up and to go down. The wind pretty much pushes you wherever, you know, and you land wherever. So that's what he was telling me. Like you pretty much land wherever. Um, so we got to make sure that the wind's perfect, the weather perfect, because if not, there's going to, there's going to be an incident. And he was super responsible. And I love that about him. That's why I really wanted to go with him. So, I was just waiting for him to tell me when the perfect time was. We would always check the weather. And um, it was it was going on for about like seven, eight months where we would just communicate back and forth. And I would just wait for him to tell me, okay, today's a perfect day, you know? And he literally told me that. He was like, it's going to be so last minute. Like when I tell you, like like tomorrow's the day, then, then you know, tomorrow's the day. Like be ready, huh? you have to be ready. So... During the time, I asked for a couple days, uh, like a couple weeks off work, um, you know, just for vacation and whatnot. I wanted to get away from all that. So I, uh, me and Karen, like whenever we want a vacation, we always came to LA to vacation just because there was family and we always in, we were always doing something when we we're out here. So we were vacationing in LA. It was about like my second weekend, um, but usually like, before I like before I return back to work, I like to go back to SAC and take a couple of days off, you know, like just to relax and pretty much be lazy for a couple of days. Cause I don't like to vacation and then right away jump into work, you yeah. know? Cause then it just drains me. So uh, we came back, we, we were, so we were out here for like a couple of weeks. Then we went back and I think I started work like in like, like two days or something. And we were just relaxing at the house. We were watching movies and and I, uh, I called the guy and I was like, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, right now's a perfect opportunity for me to, uh, to, to do it because the weather is good. I feel, I feel like the weather is good and we weren't doing anything at the time and I had to go back to work. So the guy was like, oh yeah, like, you're right. The weather's perfect. Let's do it. You know, he's like, the only thing is, is you got to be at my ranch at like 6 a.m. And, um. So I told Karen, I'm like, hey Karen, like I'm gonna take you on a special date tomorrow. Just, uh, just the only thing you have to do for me is is wake up at like, then we go, we woke up like at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, because he told me, what he told me was, um, hey, like before I go back to work, like I want to take you on one last date because like I'm gonna go back to work and I'm gonna be busy. <clears throat> oh my god, these are kind of spicy. Like I huh? feel a tingling in my. What's in my I don't know. But I got your smile though. Yeah, but I'm a baby when it comes to spicy food. Okay, so basically he told me I want to take you on one last day before going back to work. And I just want to enjoy, you know, these last few days that we have together before going back to work. And I didn't think anything of it because I was like, like, we always go on dates, like, you know, and Ruben is really sweet. So I didn't think anything of that, you know. But he did say, um, the only thing is that you have to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. So then that's when I started to get a little suspicious. I still had no idea, but you I was didn't like... didn't know? Yeah, you did. No, I promise you, I did not know. But I did feel like I was a little suspicious because I was like, like 4.30 in the morning, like, 
that's really early for a date, you know? But I was thinking like, okay, he's gonna take me out on a date and uh, we're gonna go to like this hill and we're gonna watch the sunrise and he's gonna have like breakfast there and it's just gonna be like a super chill date where we just watch the sunrise. That's what I was thinking. I should have right? done that. So, any, Ruben, you don't wanna be married with me? No, like that was a good idea, like going on top of a hill, watch the sun. No, I love the, the hot air balloon. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So anyways, you guys, uh, he told me that. So then I started to get a little suspicious because I was like, okay, like 4.30 in the morning, like that's kind of early, you know? But I was like, okay, no. But I was like going back and forth because I was like, is he or is he not? But I feel like I wasn't really suspicious because I made it clear to Ruben. I told him, if you're ever going to propose, make sure my nails are done. My nails were not done. So I was like, Ruben would never do me like that. Like he would make sure that my nails are done because he knows that I'm going to go and take pictures of my ring and do all that, right? So I was like, okay, well, my nails aren't done. He knows my nails aren't done. So he wouldn't do me like that, right? But then knowing Ruben again, he doesn't care as long as I'm 100% surprised. So I feel like that was the last thing on his Wait, mind. Wait, they weren't done? No, they weren't. Hmm. And that's what I was telling you. And I even asked him, I was like, Ruben, I was like, remember I told you? I was like, are you going to propose because my nails aren't done? And you were like, no, like, why would I do that? And I was like, oh, okay, like, maybe I'm just overthinking it, you yeah, know? Yeah, I remember, I remember I was like, no, you're Yeah, done. you're like, what? Why would I do that? And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> I felt kind of shitty because you literally just put me down, right? So I was like, okay, like, whatever. So then uh, that day, I didn't even do my hair, you guys. Like, I'm telling you guys, I had no idea. I, we, got, we got to sack kind of late, so I was, like, kind of tired already. I just wanted to rest. So I didn't have energy to do my hair. So I remember that night, I was like, oh, like, I still want to look cute for the date, but I don't want to, like, style my hair and do all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my hair into braids at night, and then in the morning, I'm just going to take them out, and my hair's going to be, like, kind of wavy. Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah, because you want to sleep, like, around... She want to sleep, like, around 2.30 or... 2.30 or, yeah, like, Yeah, I want to sleep And we late. had to wake up at, like, 4.30 in and the morning. And Ruben kept telling me, like, you need to go to sleep. He's like, what if you, like, don't wake up? And he was just so... He was stressing on the fact that, like, he thought that I wasn't going to wake up because I was going to be so tired. So he kept telling me, like, babe, like, are you sure we're going to go on this date? Are you sure that in the morning when you wake up, you're not going to be too tired? And you're not going to be like, no, never mind. Like, maybe we shouldn't do this date, you know? And I was like, no, like, I am. Because to me, he went out of his way to plan this date. And, like, dude, the least thing, the least I could do is wake up early to go on this date that he had already planned, right? So to me, it was not a problem making up at 4.30. But I did go to sleep late because... I'm telling you guys, we came, we got back to SAC kind of late, and then as soon as we get back from a trip, I like to unpack and put everything away, so I did that, you know, showered, and then, again, my hair, I was supposed to style it to look cute, but I was just so tired that I was like, I'm going to put it into braids, but I put them into small braids because if you, if my hair's thick, so if I put them into, like, big braids, it was just not gonna be wavy so i had to make them into little waves which took me more time and that's why i went to sleep at 2 30 in the morning um but anyways you know i go to sleep i wake up and i'm i'm tired but i'm like no like we've been planning this super cute date for me like we're gonna go watch the sunrise so i'm like it's okay like i wake up you know do my makeup get ready in my mind i'm still like what like what and i'm just so curious because ruben he can't hold on to secrets so to me this was like hard because he tells me everything so for him not to tell me what we were doing i feel like it was just so hard for me and yeah. i kept asking him like give me a clue tell me please tell me and he was like nope 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 so anyways i'm ready and i i'm telling you guys i had no idea to this day it was early in the morning and it was a little cold so to this day i wore sweats and a sweater and like sneakers so i was like i was trying to look cute but I, he just told me it was going to be a small little date, you know, so I had no idea that this was going to be my marriage proposal or else I would have dressed cuter, I would have styled my hair, okay. I would have had my nails done, but I had no freaking idea. So anyways, we get in the car, we're driving, it's still dark outside, that's how early it is, and we're driving and this place is what, like 40 minutes away? Before we pull up there, like... Keep in mind, you know, we're going on a hot air balloon. So I was like really nervous. I was just like, uh, man, yeah. like, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Like, <clears throat> I think I was more nervous about getting on a hot air balloon than anything. Cause mm -hmm. I, like for me, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of heights. And I was just feeling really nervous. I'm like, man, like, can't believe I'm gonna get on a hot air balloon, you know? And I really wasn't feeling myself. Cause I was like, man, like, 
I just kept thinking about that, like hot air balloon, like, and then he kept telling me, like, I have no control of the, the hot air balloon. Like, we pretty much just go on it, and wherever the wind takes us is wherever we go, you know? Mm -hmm. So he's he like, we gotta make sure there's a lot of empty field. So his ranch had a lot of empty field. So that was a good thing. But anyways, on the on the way, we were just, um, I kept having to pull over because I'm like, you know, I gotta use the restroom. I gotta use the restroom. I gotta use the restroom. You know, so I kept pulling over to use the restroom because I was like so nervous about that. And then when we approached the, the, the field, the, the field and stuff, there's a sign, mm -hmm. hot air balloons. And then that's when Karen seen it. She's like, you're gonna take me on a hot air balloon. Yeah. I was kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little mad because to me, it's like, oh my God, you know, I don't like heights. And like the least he could have done was prepare me, like mentally prepared me for this, for this crazy mm -hmm. experience that I'm about to go through, you know? So, I mean, I was a little like shocked, not even, not mad, mad's not the word. I was shocked because I was like, I know we've been scared of heights. I'm scared of heights. We went on one Six Flags ride at freaking Six Flags mm -hmm. and we didn't like it, you know? So why are we on a hot air balloon? But Ruben had also told me when we pulled up, he was like, for this date, I just wanted to do something different. You know, I wanted to experience something different together. So to me, I was like, oh, okay, like that makes sense. So still didn't think anything of it. So I'm like, okay, like, yeah, blah, 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 right? But I'm like, oh my God, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, but I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to do this and experience it. And I feel like if he probably would have told me beforehand, I probably would have said no, because yeah, I, I would have been like overthinking it. But since it was so last minute, I was like, heck yeah, like, let's do it. Let's get on, like, let's experience yeah. this. And that's why I didn't want to tell her, because I know I'm like, if I tell her, then she's going to want to chicken out. Yeah. And she ain't going to want to do it. So I'm not going to surprise her with it, you know? And. And like, I was like, the whole time I was just like shook. I'm like, man, I gotta do this. I have to do this. I have to do it. We pull up and um, he started, he comes to my truck. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up. Um, you know, you guys, you guys just, just give me a second while we set up. And super nice guy, man. Mm -hmm. I really like this guy, yeah. he's really chill. Kind of had like, like, like a personality like mine, you know, like yeah. just spoke his mind and and whatever, and right? You so, and him were on this, right? He knew what was going on? Yeah, the whole time. He actually told me, like, look, he's like, since you want to propose, he's like, what we're going to do is when we go up there, he's like, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, distract her, you know? And you'll know it's a distraction, right? And I was just like, all right, so tell me, like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, so I know, right? And then he started saying, he was like, yeah. um, so just in case, he's like, a lot of times we do end up landing like this. And uh, if we for some reason land like this, like basically what we gotta do is go underneath the, like duck down, yeah. hold on really tight, cause we're gonna like have a bad landing. Yeah, and he's like, do not let go, yeah. do not let go. He's like, most of the time, you know, a lot of times uh, we end up landing like that, you know, just because of the wind. Like, you would think that a hot air balloon just gonna land perfectly, it doesn't. Or slowly, yeah, but or it doesn't, slowly. yeah. It just, when, when you land, the wind's blowing it, so it's gonna, is in a hit, you know? Mm -hmm. So he was like, if it does that, just grab on tight and don't let go. Yeah. So I was like, man, like, like, why is he telling us that, you know? Like, <laughs> but he has to prepare us. You yeah. Know, it's better for us to know mm -hmm. than. Yeah, he was really honest about everything. He yeah. didn't hide anything. So we were taking pictures and stuff. The hot air balloon was getting ready to go. And it was mm -hmm. just so pretty, you guys. I cannot explain how pretty this view was especially with the sun rising and it was just so perfect it wasn't too cold it wasn't too hot just perfect so then we're up in the air you know and i'm taking a bunch of pictures because i'm Wait. like oh my god it's all a good job actually it was a little bit hot for me i remember because <laughs> well you were nervous so because the hot air balloon there's not a lot of room Right, yeah. like it's pretty, it's pretty small. The basket's pretty small, mm -hmm. and especially me being so, so high, like so tall, <laughs> that you're close to the fire. I was, the fire I was the close to the fire. Yeah. So the whole time, I was kind of like ducking down, like you know, because if I stood up more, like I felt the heat, so I had to like duck down, kind of in a way, mm -hmm. you know, like kind of like in a squat position the whole time. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can continue now? Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, so, where, where was I at? 
Oh yeah, so anyways, we were just enjoying the view. I was taking a bunch of pictures because I was like, oh my God, nobody's gonna believe that I did this because I feel like everybody kind of knows that I'm a little scary cat. So I'm just like, oh my God, nobody's gonna believe that I did this. Nobody had any idea. Ruben didn't tell anybody. I had no idea about the date or what we were doing. So I didn't tell anybody. So nobody knew what we were doing. So I was just taking pictures to make sure that I could, you know, prove to everyone that I got on a hot air balloon. For them. He kept he kept giving out like um Hints? distractions. To me? No, to me. Oh. Right? Cause he also told me, I forgot to say, he also told me like before I um before I like give out the distraction, I'm also gonna tap your shoulder. Uh, I'm also gonna t uh, tap your shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. And then he's like, I'm gonna tap your shoulder, and then I'm gonna tell her to go look over there, right? He told you this like before. He yeah. Heart air balloon. Okay. So so he did it, right? He like he he he's like, I'm either gonna tap your shoulder, or I'm gonna kick you, right? So he kicked me, and then and then he was like, he's like, oh look at that, right? But he kicked me, I'm like, why did he just kick me? You know, I forgot, I forgot he had mentioned that to me. Oh, so he kicked me, and then he was like, look over there, and I was like, where? Oh, so you... Right? So I, I You missed... were going along yeah, with it. Yeah, I, I missed it. Yeah. And I was like, and after I was like, like, he said, oh wait, never mind, it left. I was like, all right, that's, mm -hmm. that was a distraction, yeah. right? So I'm like, damn, when are we gonna get the next one, you know? So then that's when he was like, he tapped my shoulder, or he went like that. And I was like, okay, that's like, what he was like. I need to get ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, look at that deer. Mm -hmm. And my stupid ass was still like, where? <laughs> where? So anyway, he's like, oh, look at the deer, right? And I'm like, oh my God, like deer. I love animals. So I was like, oh my God, a deer, where, where? You know, and he's like, right there. And I'm like, ah, I don't see it, where? And he's like, right there between those two trees. Do you see them? And I'm like, ah, I still don't see them. I'm he trying hella hard to look at these deer and just find these deer. So I that way I can like look at them from up high, you know? And he's just like, they're there. And I'm like, I can't find them. Like, you need to be more specific. So she's just like, no, like right there, right there. So I turned around to kind of tell him like, like I can't find them, you know? And by the time that I turned around, Ruben's on one knee. And I had no idea that this was going to happen. So as soon as I turned around, I'm just like, <gasps> right? I was like, what? And he's just like on, and like I could tell that he's nervous because his voice was just like shaking. And he's like, What'd you say? What else did I say? <laughs> huh? Stop what it. else did I say? So anyways, he, he's on one knee, right? And I'm turn, I turn around and I'm like, <gasps> and he's just like, you know, with the shaky ass voice, he's like, will you marry me? And I'm like, still shocked. Like you guys, I had no idea this was going to happen. So I'm just so shocked that he's even proposing to me. I always like jump to this day because like I've always wanted to get married, you know? I feel like we were together, how long? Mm, for like five years. Yeah, five years. We're about to hit six years. He just proposed last year? Yeah. It was like, uh, I wanna say it was like December or January? No, you proposed in August. Oh, oh yeah, Damn, August. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> August. So anyways, you guys, yeah, like, he proposed after five years. So to me, like, even though we were together for a long time, I was like, you know, does Ruben want to spend the rest of his life with me? Like, does he want to get married or does he just want to date forever? You know, so I, I just never saw it coming. And we would talk about it, but there was like no specific timing. And I always made sure to tell him like, you do it on your own time. You know, do it when you're 100% sure. Like, I want you to decide about this on your own like be sure that you want it you know and I, I told them I do want something like thoughtful from you I ne nothing big nothing crazy you know if he did do that like okay but to me it was just more like be sure of what you want and then if it's what you want you know do it do something um like just memorable and thoughtful it was never like oh super huge or super small or anything like that I just something that came from your heart you know and I feel like this really came from his heart because not only was did he know that he was afraid of heights? But he was like, I'm going to, you know, overcome that. We're going to experience something beautiful. And we're going to experience this together. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but he planned this for... How long did you have the ring for? Well, I had the ring for about, like, a year and a half. Like, it was... It, like, during the time, the weather was really bad in Sacramento. So it was, like, raining a lot. Yeah. So I would always call the guy, like, is it time yet? No, we got to wait. We have to wait till the season's over. And, you know, so... It was just constantly pushing it, you know? Yeah. So I had the ring for about a year and a half until he was like, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's today's But just day. the fact that he had this ring 
for so long just taking care of it and then not only that but just planning so much time into you know the perfect day to go on to this hot air balloon ride and just you know do it there like i feel mm -hmm. like just the time that he spent and the effort that he put into it i feel like that's what makes it like super uh, thoughtful the best proposal ever like i will never ever forget that day yeah no it was definitely so special so he puts the ring on my finger right and i'm just like oh my god like the ring was just so beautiful like I was not expecting this beautiful ass ring, huge ass ring, right? I always told them like, I don't care about the size of the ring, you know, as long as it comes from your heart and it's thoughtful and it's what you want, that's it, right? Big ass beautiful ring in this box and I was like, oh my god, is that mine? Like I just, it just was not clicking, you know? And I wanted to grab it and put it on while you were supposed to put it on, but we were just so nervous because we were both shaking. And we didn't want to like drop it, drop it, you know, because we know. were in the air. We even asked the guy like, has there been any proposals where the rings just fall? And he actually he told us that there was yeah, not they, one incident, yeah. and the ring was just gone. So I was just so nervous to put the ring on. I was shaking. Ruben was shaking, and I was just like, oh my god, like this ring is so freaking beautiful, right? But you know, we put it on carefully, and oh my god, it just fits me perfectly perfectly not too loose not too big and none of that just perfectly like if it was a made for me right no it was actually because <laughs> when i when i got that ring i got one of your rings from your uh from your joy mm -hmm. and i just took it down like match it to this size yeah so it fit so, perfectly you guys yeah. and so then i was like after everything clicked i was like <gasps> my nails aren't done and I was like, oh my god, my nails aren't done right now. I, I was taking pictures, right? But <clears throat> I wanted to upload pictures on Instagram and stuff. And I was like, oh, like my nails aren't done. So I was like, fuck it. And I took a picture like this of my ring. But I was like, I don't care if my nails aren't done. I freaking love my ring. I want to show my ring off. I want to post it right now. So that's why I took a picture like this on Instagram. And then I just posted it. But everybody was telling me that Ruben did an amazing job with this ring because it's just so perfect. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. It took, I it. It took Everybody me a, loved it. It took me a while to um, choose it. Choose it. And so. it was so funny because remember, like, what was it? Like, maybe like a year and a half back before you bought this ring? He was like, come on. Yeah, and I I'm like, it. what? And he's like, come on. We were at the mall and he takes me into a jewelry store. He's like, come on. And I was like, oh my god, like me, how excited you know, thinking yeah. like he's gonna buy me a ring and propose right then and there. I'm like, no, like you better not be playing, blah, 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 right? He's like, no, like come on. So we go into the store and he's like, you know, like, what, which one do you like? And I'm like, Ruben, like stop. Like, you know, he was hella hyping me up. Like I was about to freaking get a ring right then and there. So I'm like, mm, I don't know, I kind of like that one, I kind of like that one, but I've always liked the squared shape. So I told him, like, I really like the squid shape, like, I just love it, blah, 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 right? So he did a really good job remembering that, and then he got me my squid shape ring yeah. that I love so much. Yeah, I remember taking it to the mom, like, which one do you want? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not going to get anything, I just want to see what, <laughs> what you're doing. And after we walked out, I was like, why did he just take me in there and tell me which one I wanted, and then we walked out, mm -hmm. and I didn't get one. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, I remember that you were so like bummed out. Well, I wasn't. I was just like, I was. I was confused because. I was uh, like, you were bummed out. Come I, was, on. <laughs> <laughs> I was bummed out because I was like, dude, like he literally just played with my emotions. We went in there, you know, looking at these rings. People were coming up to us, and you were hella talking to them too. You were like, how long would it take? Like, yeah, blah, blah, to blah. do this, to customize yeah. this. And so I was like, yeah. oh my god, like this is getting serious. Like he's gonna propose, right? And then nothing but a year and a half later you know mm -hmm. that's when it happened when i least expected it i'm telling you guys i didn't even have my hair done i had it embraced the night before didn't have my nails done and i wore sweats and sneakers to my mm -hmm. proposal so he you really got me it was, it was dope though it was dope because <laughs> after we landed um so so we were in the air for like 20 minutes i want to say 25 minutes yeah like 30 minutes somewhere around there and uh so when we landed Basically, he was like, all right, like, I think right now is the perfect time to land because there's a, we were, like, getting us, like, into, like, the tree area. So, there yeah. was a lot of trees. And when there's trees, you can't land because yeah. it's getting dangerous. He was like, so, let me see if I can land this. And he's like, let me see if I can land it. And uh, he landed it, like, close to a fence, kind of. So, it was, it was good when he landed yeah. it. Um, it wasn't nothing bad. We just, you know... We were still standing. Yeah, you're trying to make it suspenseful. We landed by a fence. No, it was. We landed by the fence, and it was like a, it was like a, 
like I don't know, it was weird. Like when we were at and it was literally in the middle of nowhere, and um, so he landed it. But since he had helpers, he just kind of like what called them, and he's yeah, like, he "Hey, called. we landed right here, mm -hmm. you know." And they just drove yeah, with the truck and picked us up. We didn't have to walk or anything mm -hmm. like that. But while they were putting the hot air balloon away. He comes out with a bottle of champagne mm -hmm. and he was like, congratulations guys. He's like, um, you know, we're going to make a toast yeah. for you guys proposing. It was and good the, champagne. Yeah, too. the champagne that he brought, it was, it was, I think he said it was from like his friend or something. Yeah, it was. It was like memorable to yeah. him. He was like, look, it's special. Like I brought it. Yeah, oh he's like, God, this is real. Amazing. He's like, this is real champagne. Yeah. He's like, not like the ones, uh, the youngsters drink, yeah. yada, yada, yada. So he brought us. Little cups, um, hot air balloon cups yeah. that Karen eventually threw away. But uh, <laughs> stop! So you no, what happened to those cups? When we got home, you're like, just leave it outside for now. We'll wash it later. So I left it outside, and I think they're still outside. Oh, see, I still have them. <laughs> no, so, but what I did keep was uh, look. Show them. It's in my the drawer where the uh, ring box is. Okay. The other one. No, the um, the third one. The third or fourth. Fourth. Show them up close what it is. So basically, it, it's like a. Hot this has been the champagne bottle. Yeah. So basically, he popped it to the point where it barely came off. And See. now it's like a hot air balloon. Just See, so it's supposed to be a hot air balloon. Like this is the balloon, and this is the basket. Yeah. So I'm keeping that forever. So. We landed, we drank, and it was crazy because that got me like pretty, it got me pretty Me drunk. too, I I had a little bit, and I was swirly by the end of yeah. our talk, because we were talking to him for like a good 20 minutes. Yeah, he, he was really chill. Yeah, he, he was yeah. really nice, nice guy. Yeah. Because of um, him, it's also something memorable, because I feel like if it would have been someone that was rude, or just someone who was yeah. just quiet, I feel like it would have been awkward, but I'm telling you guys, this proposal mm -hmm. could have not gone any more perfect so anyways he drove us back to our car and then i just remember after like i was shocked you know it was just so freaking amazing like everything was just so pretty so after i came back to like earth i remembered like oh my god i have to pee oh, remember yeah. and i had to pee so bad you guys i was telling we've been like we i do not think i can hold it like i really like am about to pee my pants i just cannot hold it any other minute right so then what happens so then after we went to... A Bel Air. Yeah, like a Bel Air. Yeah, and... it was literally like right around the corner. I was like, we've been hurry, hurry, hurry. I run in there, use the bathroom, and then after that I'm like, oh, I'm a fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. And then, um, yeah, and then after that, oh my God, I texted everybody. I posted it. Everybody was super nice, calling mm. me, congratulating me. You know, you guys all were super supportive on my post. You guys were even messaging me, um, you know, like congratulations and stuff. And oh my God, I just appreciated that so much. Just felt so grateful for you guys, mm -hmm. you know, just congratulating me on such a special moment. And yeah, we just tell everybody about it and everybody's congratulating us. And you yeah. know. So, um, that's how I met Jesus. Are we still gonna eat that? <laughs> you're telling you're telling them that that's our marriage and then you just go to the freaking right, bungalow so this is the spicy one okay are we gonna try it yeah let's try it okay these aren't spicy at all what does this taste like to you Tahin. this is not spicy but i don't like it it's too dry mm -hmm. i like mine all right guys so that's the end of our story time on how i proposed to karen um Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.